Hi everyone, my name is Mrs Bulmer and I'm an English teacher at Hermitage Academy. As well as that, I have a responsibility for looking after transition. So that means the smooth movement from primary school to secondary school. It means speaking to your teachers and your head teachers and trying to find out a little bit more information about you. So it's only fair that through these transition videos on the website, you get to meet some of us and find out a little bit more about us too. So I really hope you're finding these videos useful and, and giving you a little bit of an insight into life at Hermitage Academy. So what am I going to talk to you about today in this video? Well, the topic that I have chosen is the topic of change. The past few months have been a period of real change for a lot of us. And the next few months will continue to be real change for you when you start secondary school. But I want you to focus on positive change, all right? Change isn't something to worry about. It isn't something to be anxious about. It's something to embrace. Starting secondary school, this next chapter, is really exciting. It's a fresh start for many of you. It's a chance to meet new people and make new friends, as well as still spend time with you with ones and your older ones. But it is a new opportunity. And although we're often fearful of the unknown and not knowing what to expect, you really don't need to be. At Hermitage, we are there to support you as teachers and students alike will be there to support you and help you through every step of the way. But one thing I would ask of you is that you get yourself into a really good mindset before you start in September. Now, what do I mean by the term mindset? Well, the definition is on your screens now. So mindset is the established set of attitudes held by someone, okay? So by attitudes, we mean viewpoints and feelings and opinions. So you can either have a positive mindset or a negative mindset. Now I'm going to let you decide which one you think is best. I hope you've all chosen positive. Positive mindset is by far the best way to go into something new, all right? Be open-minded and give everything a chance. So with that idea in mind of mindset and change and hopefully positivity, um, I just wanted to read you a poem. Now I did say I'm an English teacher, so I have to get some English in there somewhere. So on your screens now, there is a copy of the poem If by Rudyard Kipling. Now this is a really famous poem, okay? And it's quite tricky in some places. So you'll see on your screen with the poem, I've put some little arrows and some definitions of some of the more complicated vocabulary. So hopefully that will help you out as you're reading through. I just want you to have a little think about what the message of this poem is, okay? So this is If by Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating. And yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, and if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your, tur your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, and if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and, which is more, you'll be a man, my son. 
Why did I choose that poem? Well, that poem is probably one of the, my most favourite poems, actually. Um, and I find it really inspirational. And I think it links really well with the topic that I've been talking to you about today. So if is basically going through different scenarios, different situations in life and thinking about how we deal with them in a balanced way. And it's about the mindset that we get into. And I really feel like the message that he's giving there is if we remain balanced, if we keep calm, okay, if we use some of Mrs. Howe's mindful techniques from week one, then we can approach life and big changes and different situations and we can manage them really, really well. And I find it a really inspirational poem. So that's why I wanted to share that one with you today. And there's another video clip that I wanted to share with you as well. And this is from somebody called the Kid President. Now you may have heard of him, you may have seen videos in your primary school that involve him, but I think, it, I think they're great. And I think this one is particularly relevant at the moment. So I'll let you watch now. I think the world needs a pep talk. I need you to look, people. Look with your eyes. This is where we live. It's a good place. Look around you. What do you see? Volcanoes, sunsets, Justin Timberlake's teeth. Those things are perfect. But I'm telling you, world, we got some work to do. Open your eyes. How cool is it that we're all alive on the same planet at the same time? I think it's time that we start making cool stuff happen. On the planet we live on, there's poverty, hunger, injustice. The world is full of awesome. It's also full of not awesome. On the planet we live on, there's also potential possibilities. Puppies. Yeah, I said puppies. Ah, I'm getting distracted. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad we're all here. We're all born to make a difference. It can be easy to get overwhelmed. Feel like you can't do anything. And that's why we have each other. Well, there's lots of bad stuff in the world, but there's also you. And there's me. Time to set some goals. I'm not talking squad goals. I'm talking global goals. All of y'all, the whole world, is my squad goals. What the world needs is love. And also an end to extreme poverty. Eliminating inequality. Fixing our planet. That's why we got you. That's why we have each other. That's why we got goals. Global goals. Together, we're louder. Together, we're brighter. Together, we're gooder. That isn't a word. Global goal number four, education. Talking about school, I gotta tell you something. School cafeterias can be scary places. Where do I sit, where do I not sit, where's the cool table? Let me tell you something. The cool table is wherever you are. In the lunchroom of the world, there should be a cool table. Nope, the whole lunchroom should be one big cool table. A big table. A table where everybody's invited, where everybody has a seat, where everybody has enough. That's the kind of table that I wanna be at. That's the kind of world I wanna live in. That's the kind of world that we're building because of people like you. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Let's live in a world where awesome is celebrated every day, where people treat people like they're people. Those are my kind of people. So get out there. And if you find yourself feeling like it's too tough, remember, you're not alone. There's lots of people at the table, and it's a cool table. Open your eyes. You'll see. So I think Kid President says it, says it all there, really. Um, we are in this together, we are there to support you. We hope that over the coming weeks, the further transition videos will answer any other questions that you may have um, and will give you even more insight into life at Hermitage Academy. Just a few other bits and pieces to share with you and a couple of bits for the grown-ups too. Um, we do appreciate that we may not be answering all of the questions that you might have at the moment, okay? We will be sending out further transition materials in the post in the next few weeks with regards to school lunches and uniform. Um, however, in the meantime, we do appreciate you might have other questions that you would like answering sooner. We have two email addresses now set up. The first one for all general enquiries regarding transition is transition at hermitageacademy.co.uk. Or if you have a, an SEN query or you would like to speak to our SEN call, the email address is sen.transition at hermitageacademy.co.uk. And I think that's all for now. We really, I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, as usual, the quiz questions will follow from, on from me. So please make sure you are keeping a note of all of your answers because there are prizes to be won at the end of this um, virtual programme. I can't wait to meet you all, okay?
please feel free to get on get in touch on those emails and ask us any questions you may have and i look forward to seeing you all soon take care bye Hi, my name is Mr. Clark and I'm a French and Spanish teacher here at Hermitage Academy. My question for you all is, how do you say in French or in Spanish, hello, my name is? Hello Year 6, my name is Mrs. McMullen and I'm Head of Music at the Hermitage. I can't wait to meet you all soon. Now, when we listen to different types of music, we describe it using musical words. So my question to you is, what is the difference between tempo and dynamics? And as some bonus questions, can you name the large symbol on the wall behind me? And can you recognise any of the instruments in the picture?